kids, it's me, time traveling Thomas. It's me, Carl. Oh, what's up, Carl? <laughs> Good to see you, bud. You too, you too. All right, today we're going to use our time machine to go back to the beginning of everything. In fact, today we're going to go back to the second day of creation. I kind of want to go back to the first day because that was awesome. That was <laughs> so awesome. I liked it when God said, let there be light. That was so epic. I loved it. Yeah, it was so good. All right, are you guys ready to go back and use our time machine? Oh, yeah. Right. Come on. Let's go. Reactor Hold online. on tight. Sensors online. Wow. I can't see anything. This is really bright light. Yeah, it's it's really bright. A really bright light. Okay. <laughs> now listen, I've never I've never seen any kind of light like this before, okay? This is some cray-cray light. Well, that's because it's not sunlight. This is the light of God. The sun, the moon, and the stars, they haven't been created yet. Ooh. Do you have any sunglasses? I got you, Carl. Oh, thanks. There Let's... you go, bud. And I got some, too. Ah. My pupils are crazy. Ah, so much better. That is better. Yeah. So God said, let there be a giant dome between the waters to separate water from water. So God made the dome and separated the water under the dome from the water above it. And it was so. God called the vault sky and there was evening and there was morning. The second day. What's that sound? Swim, swim, swim. Whew. Oh my goodness. On the second day of creation, God made the water and the sky, atmosphere, air. God was creating the perfect world that would bring forth life. But look at all this water. I hope God can create a boat because I can't swim forever. Don't, don't, but don't you see what God did? He created what Moses called the dome. It's the sky. It's the atmosphere the place where life would be sustained. But look at all this water. <laughs> Earth is the only planet that scientists know that has bodies of water. In fact, Earth has over 100 million billion tons of water. But it's a lot of water and I'm getting tired of swimming. It really is. I mean, water makes up over 70% over of the Earth's surface also did you know that human beings are 60% water? Ah, it's a, too much water! Too much water! And did you even know that the word for heaven in Hebrew is the word shamayim? Guess what mayim means? Water? Yup. That's crazy! Water everywhere. Yes, organized, governed, fashioned, water. And on the second day, God, create, God separated the waters with the dome, creating the atmosphere so we can breathe and live. That is incredible, but I gotta tell you, I'm kinda getting a little sick of all this water. Yeah, hey kids, let's take a big deep breath of this amazing air that God has created us for us to breathe. <sighs> The, the air is so, so clean. And guess why the air is so clean and good? Because of the water? Yup, the ocean actually helps to suck up the CO2 from the air. Wow, that's crazy. Wow, I'll tell you what, time traveling Thomas. Yeah. God really thought of everything. Our God is amazing. I can't wait to see what he creates on the third day. Me too. Well, 
Let's go back to our class, kids. This has been amazing. But first, let's do our declaration. Declaration time! Woo! All right, kids, repeat after me. In all of outer space. In all of outer space. God has created the perfect place. God has created the perfect place. For me to live and grow. For me to live and grow. And know my creator God. And know my creator God. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Okay, children, let's go to the writer of Genesis, Mr. Moses, because he wants to bless you before you go back to your class. Okay, to you, Moses. Now I want to bless you. So hold out your hands in front of you and close your eyes. Here we go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you. May he be gracious to you and turn his face towards you and give you peace. Shalom!